guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, we're gonna be doing my month four update on Accutane. In today's video, I'm actually filming without any face makeup on. I did get ready this morning, but I went ahead and wiped off all of the face makeup. You guys can see there's a little bit of redness. Um, I, absolutely, I actually have nothing on my face right now. No moisturizer, no oil, it's just my bare skin because I did want you guys to be able to see the results up close and personal. And you guys know that always on these updates, what I like to do is give you a little bit of an update on my skin and then talk about the symptoms. I, I always call them symptoms, the side effects of the medication that I have been putting up with from throughout the month. Okay, so we are gonna be talking about month four out of six. I have two more months to go. We are almost at the end. And right at the beginning of this video, I wanna to apologize to you guys for this video being so late. I normally like to go ahead and film this video after every single doctor visit. That way I know it's exactly a month in between. I was a little bit late this time, about two weeks, I wanna say. And I got so many comments from you guys on my Instagram and then also on my latest later Accutane updates asking me where this update was. I'm so sorry you guys, I just don't have an excuse. I got caught up in a lot of other beauty videos so this one is a little bit late this month so I really apologize so much for that. A lot of you guys commented. I was really surprised because I feel like, you know, those videos they do get a lot of views but I sometimes don't think that it's actually my subscribers watching and um, so many of you guys comment that you have been here from day one. Um, before when I used to suffer from acne and then when it got really really bad and you're with me throughout this entire journey and a lot of you guys seem to care and say that you're on Accutane yourself or you're considering going on Accutane and that these videos really really help you because I was so late in the month I was like you know what I'm just gonna skip it and the next update will be month five but since I got so so many requests I decided to go ahead and do it this month even though it's a little bit late. All right, so the first thing that I wanna do is talk about the skin. You guys can see it, it talks for itself. I have not gotten a pimple since month two on Accutane. I think halfway through month two was the absolute last pimple that I had and I have not had, it's crazy, I have not had one pimple since then. So you guys can see what I'm dealing with now is a little bit of scarring, a little bit of hyperpigmentation and a tiny bit of redness still, but every single month it's seems to lessen and lessen. In the last update video, I did show you guys the hyperpigmentation, which is basically just the scars or the dark marks that the acne leaves behind. And I told you guys that my doctor did say that the Accutane does help with that as well. A lot of you guys ask me over and over on these update videos if Accutane helps just acne or if it helps acne and the scars left behind. So I did specifically write it down the last time that I went to the doctor to ask and he did let me know that it does affect or does treat the scars as well. So it's not only the acne, it does treat the scars as well. He told me it was gonna lighten up. It's been a month since that, because I didn't ask him last time, I asked him the time before that. Um, so then when I went to the next one, he's like, see, I told you, it's gonna lighten up even more and more. And you guys can see, it's definitely still there. This was my worst side. This is where I used to break out a lot but it definitely is lighting up. And he told me by the time that I'm done with my whole Accutane journey that he expects it to be gone 100%. I definitely wanna answer that question because I get that a lot from you guys. It does treat the acne and the scars and hyperpigmentation as well. And then also this month, something that I've been noticing a lot is that the blackheads on my nose have really cleared up a lot. I don't really get blackheads anywhere else on my face. I seem to get them a lot on my nose and on the skin surrounding my nose. And they're not really blackheads, they're more like whiteheads because they're not really, really dark, but they're basically clogged pores. I haven't been doing anything different. I haven't been using any different face mask or scrubs or washcloths or anything in my skincare routine. I've been doing the same old thing, but I noticed that those bumps and those clogged pores have really cleared up a lot as well. As far as the dryness, it's really not too bad on my face at all. You guys know that I do have an updated skincare routine up. I will post it down below. I slather my skin every single night in jojoba oil. It's a little bit annoying. It gets all over my pillow. It's on the messy side, but it really, throughout this entire journey, has kept my skin so moisturized on my face. I don't put it on my body because it's just a very greasy type of oil. But what I do put is the Vaseline Total Moisture Cocoa Radiant um, body gel oil. There's an airplane passing right now, hold on. I did show this to you guys during my second month update. It has helped me a lot more than any type of lotion. Any, you guys know that I also like using dry oil spray. I believe I have one 
right here. This is another one, but nothing surpasses the Vaseline. This is by Ahava, and it's a dry oil mist. And basically what it is is an oil that it just sprays out. Something that's very easy and fast to apply, but it definitely does not work as well as the um, cocoa gel oil. And I picked this up at Target. As far as the skin on my body, I do have to let you guys know that it has become so increasingly sensitive that throughout the night, almost I, I don't know what it is. I guess we all scratch ourselves or something scratches us in the middle of the night. It sounds so weird. It's probably us scratching ourselves. Um, I wake up with, I don't know if you guys can see them, but all these little, little tiny scratches. Let me get up. I, I really want to show this to you guys. These little marks all over my body. Almost every single day I wake up with these. They're either on my shoulders. That right there is a bug bite. Um, you can see over here too, like I just wake up with these little mini scratches all over my body since my skin is so, so sensitive. I do get that on my face as well. I don't know if you guys will be able to see. I actually had one right in the middle of my eyebrows this morning, but I did go ahead and put a lot of vitamin E oil, so I feel like it really did bring down the redness. It's something that I'm gonna talk about in a second, but I definitely wanna make it a point to let you guys know that your skin becomes so, so sensitive that the lightest, little scratch will definitely leave a mark. Other than that, the hair has been absolutely amazing. This is also something that a lot of you guys ask me about. There is no oil production at all throughout your entire body or your scalp. So there is no such thing as having oily hair. And a lot of you guys know that I naturally have pin straight, limp, very, very oily, flat hair. And the fact that my scalp does not produce oil anymore is absolutely amazing. I love it. I know there are so many girls that on Accutane only wash their hair or shampoo their hair once a week. Um, I don't do that because I do use a lot of product in my hair and I feel like it does build up. So I still do wash it every other day or every three days. But you could definitely get away with a lot longer than that and it has been so amazing. My hair is so full of volume and that's something that I'm definitely going to miss when I'm done with the Accutane. And that's basically it for this part of the skin update. My skin has really felt so healthy lately. It's glowing. I have been getting so many comments from you guys in my videos and even in real life from people that know me that my skin just looks absolutely amazing. And my friends, some of them tell me that their skin is gorgeous and has always been gorgeous and they tell me that now they're jealous of my skin because they'll have one or two pimples and now my skin does not break out at all. So it's been absolutely amazing and the last thing that I want to add in to the skin update is the picture of my back because I talked about it in my last video but I actually didn't for some reason like I think I forgot to put the picture of my back. So I'm going to show you guys the before picture of what my back looked like before getting on Accutane and then the after picture, um, three months on Accutane, what my back looks like now because I did take that picture for last month's update and you guys can see that there's basically no acne anymore at all. I don't break out on my back zero at all, on my chest absolutely nothing. So it does not only treat face acne, it definitely treats your body acne as well. Now we're going to talk about the glorious side effects. And the number one that I want to talk about this month is the skin sen sensitivity. And that goes along with all the cuts all over my body. Same thing with the bruising. I find that I bruise so, so easily, whether it's from wrestling around with my boyfriend and playing around or bumping into like the corner of the bed, anything and everything leaves a bruise. And there was an incident um, last week actually where I did go out with my dog in the car. I'm not gonna get into specifics because I did speak about the whole incident on my vlog channel, which is always linked down below. But uh, basically my dog scratched my face really, really bad. I lifted him up in the air and his back paw just, it did not, I didn't feel like it was gonna be a very deep cut because it really just tapped the surface of my face, but it ripped the skin so, so bad. And there was like no pressure. He's a little chihuahua puppy, but it left a really, really bad mark. So the skin sensitivity is on another level. I wanna let you guys know how I got rid of that. The same thing that I did for this little scratch here today and the same thing since I always wake up with these little scratches all over my body and a lot of times on my face as well. What I did is I applied Neosporin and vitamin E oil. I looked it up online as soon as this happened because you guys will see on the vlog, like I was crying and everything. It was really, really bad. So I was desperate to get something to make it disappear almost overnight and a lot of people swore by that combination. I'm telling you guys it really did work well. Next side effect would definitely be the body aches. It is something that is so so painful. My doctor told me that the last two months are definitely tough. 
that I'm being a trooper, that I'm sticking it out, especially because I'm on such a high dosage. Um, a lot of you guys also ask that as well. I'm on 80 milligrams a day, which is recommended, I believe he said, for somebody that's 165 pounds, and I'm 100 and not even 120 pounds right now. So it's definitely very, very strong for me, but that's something that I really tried to convince the doctor to get me on a strong dosage. So the side effects are a lot worse. The body pain is really, really bad, and it's something that I did talk to my doctor about on my last visit. So he did end up prescribing me 600 milligram ibuprofen, and he actually told me to take one every single four hours. And I told him, wow, that seems like a lot. Is it safe? especially for my liver since the medicine is going through my liver and he said look you're doing this only for a temporary time if you're going to do this for the rest of your life obviously you can't take a 600 milligram Motrin for the rest of your life but if you do it for the last two months he said you'll be okay so that's something that's been helping the pain and in case any of you guys are confused over why this medicine causes body aches it's because the lubrication which is the oil that Basically the medicine soaks up. There's no lubrication in between any of your joints. So where I feel it the most is in every single bone in my neck and going down my spine and my shoulders. I just feel my bones grind against each other and there's absolutely no lubrication. So it hurts so bad. Quickly we're gonna talk about lips and eyes. As far as lips, you guys know that I complain about them all the time. I did place an order two days ago on eBay because a lot of you guys commented to me commented to me about Cordobom. I think it's called Dr. I have it written down here. Dr. No, wait. I think it's Dr. Dan's Cordobom is the name of it. And um, I did order on eBay. It's really hard to find in stores. A lot of you guys said that it helped you a lot when you were on Accutane. And then actually on the acne.org website, they have like an Accutane board. And a lot of people were talking about that. So I ordered it, it was like $7. It's supposed to be shipped and arrived tomorrow. So hopefully I will talk to you guys a little bit about that more in my next, my five month update. So wow, I can't believe that it's passing so fast. So we'll talk about that one. Hopefully that's something that is gonna work for me because I've been, I've been suffering every single day. Every day I scrub them, exfoliate them, put so many different products on them, like I always have to have something on my lips. The under eye circles have been horrible. It's also another side effect of Accutane. I have super, super dark, dark purple under eye circles, but it's something that hopefully is just temporary and will definitely go away when I'm done with the medicine. Also, I have been doing so, so much better with the water intake, and that's because I have a little secret. So this is what I do. I fill this up three times a day. This is my little water bottle and I tell myself as long as I finish at least two and a half of these, I'm good. It's really important to stay extremely hydrated on this medication. It will help you, it will help you basically not be in so much pain and it will also help for the medication to work better. So I know I skimped on that a lot last month. So what I did is I went out and bought this water enhancer. This is by Arizona Iced Tea. So it's basically a zero calorie water enhancer. Again, it's in the lemon iced tea flavor and I just put one little squirt into the bottle. I'm telling you guys, it really changes it. It makes it, it doesn't make it taste exactly like the Arizona iced tea that you get in a can. It's a little bit less sweet, but it makes drinking water so much more enjoyable because before I used to suffer and like have to work at it really hard to down three of these a day. And now it's a lot more enjoyable. So that's my little secret of how I've been able to consume more water. And I think that is everything that I wanted to speak with you guys about this month. Again, I'm so sorry that this video took so long. It has been requested so, so many times. I just I just want to say that I know in the beginning before I got on Accutane I was so afraid to try it because you really hear so many horror stories here on the internet on the internet about it and um, a lot of people tried to talk me out of it in real life online um, friends family the thing is it's been tough but it's not as bad as what I expected like I thought it was gonna be this crazy medicine that people told me to brace myself if I want to be on it that I was gonna be sick as hell for the entire six months six months and you know what it really hasn't been that bad um, with that being said if I had to do it again I would I would do it in a heartbeat my skin has 100% transformed. If it stays just the exact way that it is, I will be happy. A lot of people ask if I'm gonna have to do it again. I think there's like a 10%, 10 to 12% chance that some people have to do a second round. Hopefully I'm not one of those people, but if God forbid I was, I would definitely do it again. And you know what, it's really, it's not that bad. It's not that life altering. It's a little bit tough, but I've definitely been through a lot worse things in life and 
I would recommend it. Personally, coming from somebody that has used it and has suffered from horrible acne and knowing what it's like, it's definitely hands down something that I would 100% recommend. Very right, lastly, because I have been getting a lot of questions on this, um, how much does it cost? For me, it is covered by my insurance. So every time that I go into the doctor's office, there's a co-payment of $30, and then at the drugstore, there's a um, charge of $10. So basically, I'm spending $40 a month times six months. So it's not that much money at all. If it's not covered by insurance, I believe that the medicine alone is around $100, but then uh, your doctor's office is gonna be a lot more expensive because you not only have to pay for the consultation every single time you go, but they also do blood work every single time you go. So it would be something around like $250 for the doctor's appointment and then $100 for the medication. But even if I did not have insurance, it's definitely something that I think is worth it. I think that I want to come out with a video um, very soon, probably the beginning of next month on most asked Accutane Q&A. I might have to title it most asked acne Q&A because you guys know that I can't have that Accutane word in the title. So if you guys see that, just know that it is going to be all about Accutane. Um, if you have any questions at all, definitely let me know down below and I will try my best to include most of them. And lastly, I promise this is going to be the very last thing, I did just upload an updated foundation routine for people with dry skin because now that I'm on Accutane, I no longer have oily skin. It's also a routine that can work for people that don't have dry skin but want to have more of like a glowy, fresh, dewy look. So if that's something that you guys are interested, definitely check it out. I will list it down below. Thank you all so much for watching and I will see you next month for my five month Accutane update and then we'll have one more after that and then we'll be completely done. Thank you guys all so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.